The first step when we have a problem like this is to figure out the position of each of the points. Throughout the video, I've included some notes on the sides, so please pause it and read them if you need to. Let's go through each point and write out the location. First, point A. Next, point B. Remember that we do have to use cosine and sine functions to get the proper location of point B. Finally, the location of the origin, which is at zero. Next, we can write our position vectors. First, from B to A. We will write it from B to A because you can see that the force originates at B and is going towards point A. Next, we can write a position vector from the origin to A. We will use this position vector later on. Now let's find the magnitude of the position vector BA. Using our magnitude, we can write a unit vector like this. If this part seems confusing, or you're wondering why we do this, please check out the video on expressing forces in Cartesian form. It's very important as most questions will use the exact same method over and over again. Using our unit vector, we can finally express the force in Cartesian form. We are simply multiplying the force by the unit vector. Now the question is asking for the moment along the x-axis, and the x-axis can be represented as a unit vector like this. Now we can figure out the magnitude of the moment along the x-axis. And yes, we do have to take the cross product of the position vector from the origin to A and the force we found. When we solve it, we get the following and that's our answer. Again, the steps we took to get to this point is pretty much similar to many other questions with forces going along ropes or from one point to another. So I really encourage you to take a look at how we can express forces in Cartesian form if you are having trouble figuring out a part. I hope this helped and if it did, please give a thumbs up. Thanks.